I have been collecting and holding on to these home decor pieces for months. I found some very cool home decor pieces recently from all over the internet. So I'll show you what I got. I can go on that side and climb on the couch. Because Steph goes along with all my design stuff, I worry that people don't see him in the house. So I thought that this was perfect. It was a birthday present that I bought on Etsy. And this photographer blew up from this shot alone. It was literally a death defying shot. And I bought this huge photo print by him. It's six feet by two feet. And it was pretty pricey. And art is something that I think is worth the splurge. It says so much about you that it should be something that is an investment. But it's also why it's so hard for me to commit to hanging art on the wall. Everything about the kitchen needs changing and I am finally understanding my interior style a bit more. I think I'm a cross between Danish pastel and Japandi and I really like experimenting with colors and I also want to buy some investment pieces. I first got these salt and pepper mills from Hay, which is a Danish design company and Steph has been bugging me for a while now to get proper pepper mills and I wasn't about to let him take over that because he's gonna come home with like the big old wood Italian restaurant style ones and this single use salt mill from Costco was not it. These salt and pepper shakers this was passed down to me from a dear family member and she collected salt and pepper shakers and she also collected little spoons the only thing is we don't really use table salt so i think i'm going to move those over to the dining table so i actually swapped the caps on these mills i think that it kind of makes it look better as a pair. It doesn't work with the color of the kitchen right now, but just picture it in a shiny new kitchen with beautiful black splash and beautiful new counters. I just wanna like take a sledgehammer to things. And then I found these, which are also hay. Everything about the color of these make me so happy. I very temporarily had DIY coffee can that just had to go so fast. It was no bueno. But look how good these are together as a set. I almost shop exclusively online now, even pre-pandemic. I haven't missed the mall. That being said, I understand that shopping online comes with risks. Being somebody that shops from AliExpress a lot, I know. I've had a couple of pieces recently that haven't showed up, including, and this is like, I was so looking forward to this. It was, it's been 90 days and it hasn't shown up. Uh, is the velvet stool that I was hyping everybody up about. Yeah, it never came. And I don't know if it will come. So I know with shopping online, returns can happen, but something that we don't often think about is the impact that it takes to ship an item, but also return it. Things magically turn up at our door, but it takes a lot to have something packaged and distributed and sorted and coming from another country. So these are the pieces that I got. The anti-fatigue mats, I see them everywhere. I have yet to see one that is nice. The one that I have is really not nice. So I got this Mary Mecco uh, print dupe and it's just thin enough that I can lay it over the anti-fatigue mat and cover it up pretty nicely. And it can also double as an outdoor mat. I've also seen it cut up into the shape of the flowers that I haven't committed yet, but I've been thinking about it. This kind of goes along with the color scheme as I'm continuing to plan the kitchen. Just think of sage cabinets. I don't care if it's overdone, I just like sage cabinets with like pops of red and orange and pink, you know? It just seems really nice. I also recently upgraded my spice setup, which is a DIY that I can link in the description for you to watch. But I, I think I have this thing where I do really like bamboo lids. This is a baking soda jar that I keep by the kitchen sink. Baking soda is like my go-to for everything. It cleans vegetables, cleans sinks, uh, degreaser, great abrasive. 
so I have this all the time. My spice jars are also bamboo lid. So this spout jar as well as a little flip top lidded jar with a little spoon I thought was perfect for oil as well as kosher salt. It's a stoneware set. It wasn't the cheapest. They were about $20 each. I'm going to replace my gross sludgy plastic bottle of oil. We didn't even keep it on the counter so it wasn't very convenient. And also a takeout container of kosher salt. Decor wise, I picked up a faux plant. I actually, it's funny because I had alocasia poly? Poly was not doing well. It had a little leaf going for a long while. And if it didn't have the tiny leaf, I would have thought she was dead. After we moved, things just started spreading. And now she's finally happy. But before she started spreading, I picked up another alocasia, a faux alocasia from Simon's. And surprisingly, if you check out their home decor, their home decor stuff is decent. I think it's considered like the Montreal equivalent of the Bay. It came with this very cute pot anyways, so I thought it would have been nice just to have around the house to make it seem like I could keep a plant alive. And then this piece that I found off Facebook Marketplace. I've been trying to embrace my culture a lot more. Teenage me was so against my Chinese background and I wanted nothing to do with it. My parents have a lot of priceless Chinese art at home. This is a stunning piece. It's made of mother of pearl and I talked her down from 75 I think to $50. It's a bit banged up if you see some of the wood is chipped off and it needs refinishing and I didn't understand it when I got it but then when my dad came over my dad is like history buff and right away when he saw the piece he knew, he recognized exactly what the story was. And it's pretty amazing because this is a feminist piece. To fight against the conqueror, or the invader. Come, you can see that 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 it was meant to be and it really belonged in our home. The only thing is, I don't know where to put it. I just can't commit. I don't know what to do. I just feel like this has made it to the right home. Guess what finally arrived? My stool. This only took about four months, so I'm very excited to open this up. Ah, it's amazing. It came in a bunch of different colors and it, it was hard to choose a color because they were all bright. I think it was advertised as a kid's chair. I think this blue goes well with this beige. I mean, it's sturdy. It's well made. It costed like $75 on AliExpress and then another $75 in shipping. It's also actually, it's super padded, but it's, it's actually quite hard. So if you're using this as a regular stool that you'll be sitting a lot on, just know that it's very hard. But as a vanity stool, I think it's totally fine. And it tucks under the bed very well. Um, I have to leave the basket there because it's Reedy's bed and I'm not allowed to move it or she'll get mad at me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. You can find me on Insta or TikTok at Letitia Q. I'll see you next time. Bye.